Hey guys. So I figured I would sit here and do a quick little makeup session. I have to be somewhere and I have to like leave in about half an hour. So I have some time. But um, I did want to film a little bit because um, I'm going to be going to view a property today. And um, I'm kind of excited because it's in a completely different part of where I live here in San Diego. But I'm very excited because it would definitely be an upgrade. And I don't know. I'm happy with where I am. But we're definitely like growing out of it. And Eli is getting older and just need a little bit more room these days. So... We're just gonna go see what's out there. Um, but there's one place that like really made me feel like this could probably be the spot for me to live if it's what we think it is. And obviously I have to get like approved for it. I don't know, we'll see. I'm excited to see what's out there. I'm gonna take you guys with me because it's probably the most exciting thing that's happened to me in like a while. And I feel like my vlogs have just been like me being at home. Not that exciting. Um, so I'm just using the boy brow and I like doing this just like when I'm in a hurry, don't need like anything major. And I just got this super cute set in from Aloe, which I'm going to wear today because I feel so fire in it. It's their new color. So to you. Um, so this is what it looks like. They have I like, I don't know, they have a lot of similar things, by the way. I think there's like a crease here because it's not working. But, um, so I saw this on Kelsey Merritt, who is like one of Aloe's partners. I'm not a partner of Aloe. I saw this color and I just was so taken by it because I love that it's like a purple, but it's muted and it just is very my vibe. Like it's still kind of neutral, but it's not a neutral it's like a little pop of color and it just looks so beautiful this top is so flattering on and the bottoms okay so I'm, I don't know what material this is I have to find out but this is like how I'm sorry this is just so cute and then I'm trying to get a hold of somebody from Facebook marketplace I saw this mirror and it's like one of those antique mirrors it definitely needs to be like kind of revived a little bit like some color but it's kind of out of my way and they're not responding to me like they approved this the amount but look how cute it is like i definitely think i could make it look so look really nice like almost like one of those anthro mirrors because the bones of it is stunning and it's big too that's what it looks like now you can see it do you see what i mean you see what i see right if i paint it like look how old it is it's like a very old mirror but I feel like if I just kind of paint it and then like have it as my new mirror here, oh my God, I think it's like one of a kind, it's so cute. Reminds me very much of that like vintage sort of anthro look, but everyone has that mirror. So this is kind of cool cause it's similar, but it's like not your click buy, add to the cart kind of thing. Like it's sort of like a finder's keeper. So that's what it looks like. So I feel like that'd be nice to kind of switch it up since I have this like round mirror here. So hopefully I can go pick it up later. Um, and then we're gonna, so I'm gonna go view this place, then head over to Dr. Holden's office because I'm gonna get some Botox in, which is why I'm not gonna do like any foundation or concealer. I just wanna like do my brows a little bit. She's not available right now. So I'm gonna have this new girl do it, but apparently she's really good. Dr. Holden trusts her, so I have to trust her. But she works in her clinic, so we're gonna work with her. We're gonna just like, see, like this, this is coming back majorly. I did a podcast recently called Up To Date and they filmed it and it's on YouTube. You guys can go ahead and watch it. And I do this all the time and it's starting to like, I don't wanna see that anymore. Like I really don't. And like, look how much my forehead now creases. So um, I usually do like baby Botox, just like they do like a M pattern but I think I want her to just do like kind of freeze it a little bit more because I do tend to metabolize it really quickly. I'm really scared about Botox because A, I don't want it to like lift my brows. B, I also don't want it to like, you know like some people get Botox and they look mad, like they look 
angry. Like, their brows go, like, down, and then they get, like, arched higher. I don't want this lifted. I just want it to be frozen. So, hopefully I can articulate it to this gal. And then this morning, I got rid of... My neighbor came over to help me um, move. She kind of, like, went through some of my clothes that I had, like, piled up here. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know what I'm talking about. There was, like, a major pile happening. Um, I was, like, clearing out my closet. And she came through and kind of like picked some stuff out and then she helped me move it to my garage and like kind of organize it. So when I go to sell it on um, Depop and stuff, it's like already good to go. I just need somebody to take the photos and post them. So if you truly want my honest opinion, I really don't like doing that. Like taking pictures of the clothes and posting it. Like I just, I don't have time to do that right now. So for now, it's just sitting in my garage i'm using beach babe just to give me some color i worked out this morning not in this outfit i literally just got it in and i wanted to put it on and i wanted to feel like kelsey Merritt. um you know what's actually really funny is my agents when they wanted to assign me to their agency my new york agent she worked really close with kelsey and she said that when she saw me, she, I reminded her of that. But I think it's because Kelsey and I are both like, both hapas, like we're half white. And I believe she's Filipino and people always think I'm Filipino, but I'm actually Indonesian. So quite similar, but not the same. I'm gonna use Ibiza. I've actually been really liking this blush. It's from Buxom. It's from Ibiza. I feel like you guys would have seen me use it a million times. It's kind of like a baby doll pink. I am kind of like, getting a little bit of anxiety going to see this place because like the idea of moving right now just sounds absolutely miserable and there's just so much going on in my life that moving right now is not something that would be ideal oh my god I think I went a little too crazy but I also think like it's just one of those things that it sucks for like a few weeks and then it's done and especially like there's one day where it's just not fun at all. I probably should not be putting bronzer on my forehead or blush on my forehead. So I'm just gonna put Botox there, but it is what it is. Should I bring a sweatshirt too? Because it might get cold in the office. It's not gonna be very long, it's just Botox. Anyway, so this is my brows. This is the look. Nothing, anything exciting. Um, but I do want to... Actually, I already showed this to you. What is wrong with me? Okay. Anyway. Woo! Almost dropped the camera. That was close. This is the, um... This is the jacket, by the way, that I got as well. They sent the sweatshirt, and it's so cute. Like, look at this. This color is everything to me. And this fit is so cute, too. Okay. I kind of thought like maybe I should bring my kid to go see this place, but I figured it's Friday, tomorrow is Saturday, like people are probably going to go see this, so I probably should get my application in if I like it before the end of the day, even though it's already the end of the day, but like just have it in with them by tomorrow. Okay. Let me see my fit. You see? So do I have like a really big camel toe? A little bit, right? But like cute with white. These are my sunglasses that I wear all the time. I get like a thousand questions. This does not look cute with my hair. But I, they're the only glasses I wear. They're from Amazon. They remind me of like the Celine ones that like everybody has. But I'm pretty sure they discontinued them. Okay. okay, so we just walked in. And it's a little smaller than what we thought. I don't know. It just looked a little deceiving. But it's still really cute. It's still really nice. So when you walk in, this is the room. Like, this is the sitting room, right? Why? And then this is the fireplace, which is nice for when it gets cold. Is that even real? No, it's fake wood. 
Oh. This one's so jacked. And then this is the patio, which is really nice. Try not to show the where we are, but we could like plant. So this would be perfect for the dog. We don't have something like this. Like in the mornings, it'll be so nice. And then, do you want to just film me talking about it? Like just follow me around? Yeah. Okay. So then, let's go this way. The only problem is that this would be Lisa's room because this has like the patio, so the dog would be fine, but it's a really small room. So it would literally be her bed. And that's it. That's so kind of weird that it's not that high. I know. Like you can see your neighbor. Well, we would just have to plant trees and make them grow. Oh, here's a bathroom. So this would be like the guest bathroom. But the yeah, what I like is with the three bedrooms because whenever mom or whoever comes to visit, like we would have a room. You know, like yeah. I can just sleep with me and they'd actually have a good, nice room. So this would be the thing. We put a shower curtain over here because this is we know how we feel with these stupid doors, but it's great. Okay, this is the kitchen. Really nice kitchen. Oh, there's a window there. Um, updated appliances, which is nice because our appliances are super loud. Lots of cabinetry. It's nice, but good, good space. And then garage, two car garage, linen Storage. closet. Is this no, it goes under the stairs. Oh, really? That oh, can wow. be um, Elias' room. Bodie's room. Okay, so there's a security system too. That's good. Okay, so now the stairs. And so this is the master. I really do wish, because we're getting a bigger house, that there was a walk in closet, but it is what it is. There's a two person sink. I put like rugs down. Just make it a little home here. I don't like the tile. Shower curtain. And then a nice little place to go poo poo. And then here, I mean, the lights are okay, right? It's not bad. I don't love it, but it would go like that. It would either go here or here. What do you think? Here? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, so this is like the closet situation with the built ins, which honestly, it's not my favorite. I don't like these little doors. I kind of wish it was just a wall. Okay, and then we walk. This so then way. there's this bridge, from the bridge. Which like, and then there's this, which is kind of cool. Some extra cabinet space. Your beauty closet. Put a mirror here, cute. Um, and then this is the second bedroom. The lights are terrible, I'm gonna change out the light. Um, this is the closet. Is this like the same size closet you have now? Mm-hmm. But do you have more here? No. Oh, okay. so. Um, you'd have to like honestly your bed has would have to be like in a corner. Because this the other one is a door, yeah. so you can't put it in the corner. But this you'd be able to like It's still so small. It's on the on camera it looks big. I know, but I'm saying like this is almost the size of your room. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. I don't think so. I think so because it's my desk here. fits in my other room. Yeah, because your desk can fit here, or you can put your bed here, desk can fit here, or you put it to the side or to the side here or in this corner. No, I have more room in my other in my, in my other room. Really? In our current house, yeah. Or you put your bed here, desk there, or you put your bed here. You have all this wall. Your headboard would be this bed here. Thing there. Why, why do I feel like that doesn't work downstairs though? Because there's a, the dresser. Oh, the mirrors. Yeah. Okay. Or the closet. Okay. We'll have way more quiet, don't you think? By the way, our water, trash, and everything is included in the rent. Oh, wow. Because we were paying that separately, which basically added up to a lot. Go downstairs, it's a lot cooler. Yeah. There's a pool too. There's a pool here. They have like a lot of amenities, like tennis courts. Okay, so I'm at the Chick fil A drive through. Why am I doing this? I'm at the Chick fil A drive through. It was so hot in that um, place that we saw. 
I'm just like, I was drinking so much water and then I'm, I realized I haven't really eaten today. So I needed to get some food. So I got the Cobb salad. <sighs> Still got some fries though. It's been a long time since I've had Chick-fil-A. So might as well get it. I have like 15 minutes. This line is moving, thank goodness, but it's pretty crazy right over here. So I, I'm just hoping I can get like a couple fries in, maybe the salad. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time to like eat and then go into my appointment, but I usually don't let anybody else touch my face, but because Dr. Holden is out of office for some time, um, she's putting me in the hands of another nurse. So we'll see, I'm a little nervous. Anyway, so that one spot I showed you, I liked it. It was very nice, it was updated really, like obviously it was updated nicely. You could tell it had some upgrades because I was like peeking in and like looking at other people's like houses around there and ours, the one that we just saw definitely had some upgrades done to it, so that's nice. My bedroom was fine. I really don't like that closet situation. My bedroom was fine. I really don't like that closet situation. The bedroom downstairs and then the bedroom that would be Eliza's room upstairs just were too small the downstairs bedroom the way it was set up it was just really hard to imagine lisa being comfortable down there and i don't want alaya being downstairs so um yeah it just it doesn't seem like it's gonna work but it is a really nice spot the neighborhood's really nice too it's just the area is really important to me because i don't want to be you know it's always about location there's some nice places that you can find but they're in like the shitty areas of, of san diego we're gonna keep on looking i'll take you guys along with us let me know did you guys like that spot and for some reason because i was facetiming my dad after we showed you this place just so like he could see it because i just wanted to have somebody else's opinion and um he was like this place is so big and for some reason i think it just looks really big on camera because when we saw the photos and the 3D virtual tour, it did look really big. Um, but when you see it in person, it's much smaller. It's a, it's a lot more narrower than you'd think. So, I don't know. Oh my God, wait, okay. Hi. Yeah, hang on, one second. Thank you. I thought you were gonna give me the tray. I was like, wow. Thank you. And then we dip it on the sausage straws and the napkins right there. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. So I just got here. Um, I'm going to have like five minutes into my appointment, but I'm just going to shove some fries in my face. Oh, I'm going to email my, my agent. And by the way, there's this homeless guy and I just put my Chick-fil-A on the floor because this homeless guy is clearly like not okay right now. Um, but I just put my Chick-fil-A on the floor and covered it with a blanket because I was scared that he's gonna break in and eat my food while I'm in there. So, we'll see, I don't know, but I'm like, I'm so hungry. I'm glad I ate those fries. At least like I can hold myself for like another 30, 40 minutes, but I'm like, let's, let's just do this and get out of here. Um, your photo up here, I'm like, I never even met her, but I feel like I know her because I get so many clients that are like, oh, I found you because of her video. I'm oh, really? Too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not kidding you, like, three to four times a week. Um, I'm, tried, I'm <clears throat> doing this on my phone because my battery on my um, ca uh, camera is not doing so well. But I'm just in the salad. I just got treated. And it occurred to me that if I showed you guys the injections, my video will get demonetized. And I don't really want to deal with all that because whenever I show you guys like you know my like lip filler videos and stuff like that they always get demonetized and they're like one of my most viewed videos too so it's like 
I don't know. I went and saw Brittany. She was amazing. Literally amazing. She's such a doll. So if you guys are ever looking for somebody to do your Botox, she really like was thorough. She explained to me that I shouldn't have that like heavy eyebrow look either. If I just like sprinkle it throughout. So it should be fine. I'm excited. That lady who I'm buying the mirror from, she responded. So I'm going to go to her. She's like 18 minutes. Like I'm more inland. I'm in Escondido, um, which is where Dr. Holden's office is, her clinic. But I have to go, I have to go west towards San Marcos to get this. Okay, so I'm going to go. I need to use my phone. I'm going to pick up the mirror. Probably film when I get back home. Okay, let's go. So it's been a couple days. Um, I finally feel like I did a full day of vlogging. By the way, I just got my lashes done and they're very full and fluffy right now. So we're just making the best of it. So let me know what you guys think. I like this vlog has been very successful up until the ending when I got home. I was just so tired. It took me like almost an hour to get home. I did not realize how far I was driving away from San Diego to go pick up this mirror. Um, so by the time I got home, I was exhausted. I was so tired. So um, I do want to show you guys the mirror. I will say it was a little smaller than what it looked like on when I saw this picture of the mirror I thought it was gonna be a lot bigger. She didn't put any sizing which I'm glad I went to go see I still took it because I thought it would be a very pretty mirror to use. It's very old. It's very antique You can tell it's really old. She said she got it from an estate sale from a very old house in La Jolla um, So it's probably like super super old I did mention how I feel like I need to like repurpose it, like maybe sand it and paint it, but I really don't feel like I need to. I kind of want to keep, I just like the antiqueness of it. It's just pretty, I'll show it to you. So this is the mirror. You guys would have seen it on my Instagram by now, but this is what it looks like. And it's so beautiful. Like, I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's just so stunning. Like this is like very like Victorian almost. And just the mirror on the sides. It's just stunning. So I really loved the shape of it. Um, as you can see, the color, it's like this brass color. Um, and I thought I was going to want to kind of brighten it up a, get, a bit, which I think I could do it, but I really sort of like it. The mirror is still in like really great um, shape. It's not like really, you know, ruined or anything. I do have to clean it. I haven't cleaned it yet. Um, but as you can see, there's like these little marks here. You can kind of see that's kind of like all around. It, but I don't mind it at all as you can see here down at the bottom you can really see it's where and how old it is but I'm not mad about it okay so I'm very happy it ended up being really cool everything I wanted to let you guys know so my Botox I wanted to show you guys how well it's doing maybe I should show you guys on this side <laughs> it's been about almost five days since I last talked to you guys um, you know when I got my when I went over to hold in timeless beauty but um, I'm really pleased with how my Botox is looking by the way I keep saying Botox I actually didn't get Botox done I got Dysport so um, I was reminded that I get Dysport and not Botox they're both like similar it's like Coca-Cola and Pepsi it's like same same but different I personally like Dysport I noticed how much quicker it activates in my like with my body so as you can see, I was mentioning those creases are now gone. Like it's only day six and they say it needs like 14 days to really kick in. Um, so it's already day six and it's like working its magic. So it works really quickly. Um, but I can still like raise my brows, but see how it's not crunching like as bad. Like there's still movement, but I'm not like completely frozen. And the 11s, which is like those two creases if you crease like this, some people will get those 11s, which is what I was starting to get. And I just didn't want them anymore, so it was like a little quick fix. And so now I can't even like, I mean, you can see it a little bit, but I can't even like scrunch that hard now. Um, so yeah, that was pretty much it. 
Hope you enjoyed today's vlog. I'm gonna keep on vlogging more. I hope you guys are enjoying them. Please let me know if you're enjoying them or would rather me just keep doing my sit down videos. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe and if you would like to hit that post notification bell, that would be very helpful. It'll help you guys see my videos every time I upload because YouTube's now so weird. There's, it's becoming so saturated that it's becoming harder to grow your channel so pressing that notification bell really makes sure that you guys see any of my content that i put out so um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and until next time i'll see you in my next video bye